Once you've got the server running, all you need to do is just go down here and you're going to just click run a bunch of times. Now, if you go too many times, you're going to get to a point at, like, say, here, and you're going to get an error because it's looking for values that you would have put in up here. So if you get there, don't worry, just scroll up. And here's where you're going to need your token. Again, make sure you are keeping this as safe and secure as possible. And you're going to need the course IDs. Um, I have to update the development version or the this version so that it can use uh, multiple classes. So for right now, just use one class ID at a time. If you need to do multiple classes, just go back, uh, reset the class IDs, and then put in the next one, run everything after that. Okay, that's just for now. Hopefully I'll get that fixed in a bit. All right, uh, if you are not a CSUN user, you will need to update this URL. It's just the beginning of what you'll see when you actually look at the, uh, the your Canvas page. Should be pretty self-explanatory. All right, once you've done that, we can actually download from the, from the Canvas server, and it's gonna show you all of the assignments that need grading, but this is pretty important because the canvas, the way it divides up different kinds of assignments is a little bit confusing, or more than a little bit confusing. Um, and this will only, this tool here will only work on assignment type um, assignments uh, rather than quiz type ones. The quiz type ones require a couple of extra steps. I do have tools for that, but they'll have to be released separately. So contact me if you're interested in that. All right, so let's pick up a couple of things. Um, or actually, let's just pick one because I'm not sure if it will work with two because, again, I have to update it to work with the newer internals because this is all the old stuff. All right. And once you've done that, you've selected the assignment that you want to grade. It turns green. If you select the wrong one, just hit it again and select the correct one. Okay. And then just run this guy. Um, you can do it by hitting shift return or press the run button, whichever you like. And it's run, it downloaded five students because that's what I have in my test class. And now we're gonna actually read the assignments they turned in. So what's happened here is for each student, um, we've got their name. Unfortunately, it's these weird names, but this is where your student's name would be. This is their Canvas ID right here. Um, and it's looked at each of these. And since I have it set to just basically check whether or not the assignment is empty or not, if there is, um, a minimal number of words, I think it's set to like a minimum of two right now, um, it will presumptively assign the student credit. Uh, if you, a student should receive no credit if they were like way off base or whatever, just click no credit. Um, if it's presumptively assigned them no credit or if you make a mistake, uh, you can just change it back by clicking credit. Okay, uh, so let's leave that in no credit. Um, this is showing you what's what's happening, not very informative. And finally, we get to here. Uh, once you've run this, it will show you a button, which will, when you click it, will actually upload the grades. So if you're just playing around and don't actually want to upload grades, do not click this button, okay? Uh, it's fine if you run the cell, right? Nothing's happened yet. But once you do this, it's going to upload those grades. 